I love medium rare hamburgers. But if I were to offer you one of these juicy, delicious burgers right now, most of you would politely decline. And for good reason. According to the CDC in the United States, 48 million people get sick, 128,000 are hospitalized, and 3,000 die every single year due to foodborne illness. Here in Canada, we've already had over 100 recalls due to bacterial contamination of food products so far in 2014. Now, foodborne illness is usually caused by pathogenic bacteria such as E. coli, listeria, and salmonella that are contaminating your food. And our current gold standard method that we use to test these organisms is to go into a meat processing facility, remove a sample, send it off to a lab, the lab runs a bunch of tests, and six days later tells the facility that there's a problem. Well, I've already had six hamburgers by now, so I'm sick. The facility has to do the costly recall so you all don't get sick. The lab, because they're using discrete sampling, can't pinpoint exactly where the outbreak originated, so we have to throw a lot of good food with the bad, and now one of our most important industries in Canada has just taken a huge blow to its image. So there's got to be a better way, and some people are trying to speed up this diagnostic process, which is a needed improvement. But I'm part of a team that's working on a technology right here at the University of Alberta that's going to tear down the wall of food safety by offering a continuous online method to monitor your food product from the moment it enters that processing facility to the moment it lands in your dinner plate. And we're gonna do this by linking two technologies. The first is a smart material, which is a material that changes properties in the presence of a stimulus, such as a changing color. If you've ever had a Coors Light, you're familiar with smart materials. The label will turn blue to tell you that your beer is cold and ready to drink. We want to apply a similar uh, principle to your food package, so it alerts you when you're no longer ready to eat. And we're going to do that by linking our smart material with a biosensor that we're developing, which, upon contact with a specific bacterial cell, will induce that cell to produce a biomolecule. And we can use this biomolecule as a stimulus in our smart material. So by linking these two technologies, we'll now have a smart packaging material that can tell you exactly when your food has gone bad and the response time for this reaction is on the order of hours, not days. So it can also be used in processing facilities to pinpoint where outbreaks are occurring, stop them from spreading, and avoid costly recalls. We filed a provisional patent for this technology, and we're working on developing a prototype. But we're not working alone, because we believe in open innovation. So we're partnering with Maple Leaf Foods to make sure our product meets the needs of producers and consumers. We're working with Tech Edmonton to recruit a local packaging manufacturing company to ensure that our technology can be smoothly integrated into standard in, uh, practices of the industry. And we're also working with business students here at the university to develop a technology commercialization plan to smoothly bring our product to market. Because I believe in a future where every Canadian can enjoy the pleasure of a medium rare hamburger.